Tonight, the fate of Mark Carver, the man convicted of murdering UNC C student Ira Yarmolenko rests in the hands of a judge. For the past two weeks, defense attorneys argued Carver's constitutional rights were violated when a jury convicted him of murdering Yarmolenko years ago. Prosecutors are pushing back, saying Carver should remain in prison. Today, both sides made their closing arguments, and now a judge will decide what's next. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us from Gaston County. Brandon, the judge says it'll take him weeks before he makes his final decision. Why is that? Well, Fred, the judge says this was a complex case and he's going to have to spend a lot of time going through thousands of pages of documents as well as going through everything that was discussed during this nine day hearing. In her closing arguments, Mark Carver's defense attorney, Chris Muma, says a great injustice occurred in March 2011 when these words were read aloud at the end of Mark Carver's trial. The state of North Carolina versus Mark Carver, guilty of first degree murder. This is your verdict, so say you all. Muma says Carver's original defense attorneys failed to provide adequate counsel, which violates his Sixth Amendment rights, and it would require either his murder conviction be dropped or a new trial. District Attorney Locke Bell and Assistant District Attorney Stephanie Hamlin argue Carver's original attorneys went above and beyond what the Sixth Amendment requires. Bell spoke to us after the hearing. He got a fair trial. He had two very, very highly qualified lawyers, and he got a fair trial. Thing is, he's guilty. Muma left the courthouse before we could grab her for an interview. Judge Bragg says he expects to start reviewing this case as early as Monday, but maybe several weeks before he has his decision. Reporting in Gaston County, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.